Um, what is really going on with this basketball team for you guys? Why is, why is this team playing so well right now? <coughs> Tell me about some of your seniors. Um, I often see Courtney Menning show up in the in the stats, points and rebounds and stuff. But can you talk about some of those seniors on your roster? Yeah, um, Courtney Menning's been playing for me since she's been a seventh grader. She's started to be kind of a seventh grader already. Um, she's very athletic. Um, she's a very athletic family. Um, she's up more so well. She just is one of those girls that I'm not sure how much will be for the off season. She will kind of naturally um, get this. Awesome. So, um, she's really the only team that I'm playing right now. I have Rick and Burke um, comes off the bench. She was happy and started, but you know, the young girls that just think that they're just a little bit more athletic and, and talented. The team still comes off the bench, and she's, she's a smart player. Um, but other than that, you know, my other girls you know, were part of this practice. They've got three other seniors, two of them are twins, and they're able to have ACL injuries. Okay. And one just had surgery, so, you know, um, they're playing part of the panel because of that. So, the, the main thing is I play with our coordinators and the first, so. Tell me a little bit about your daughter, because frankly, between you and I, I was watching that game with uh, Sanborn Central Woosock the other day, and she had a, a uh, block shot, forced it out of bounds, had a nice post-up move down the lane, and one, uh, turned it off for a few minutes, turned it back on, and she had a deep three-pointer from about 22. She seems to have a really nice feel for the game. Yeah. Um, she's been around it. You know, I have um, two older children. Uh, she's been along. Um, Uh, the 15 years between her and her youngest sibling, you know, her next sibling. Sure, yeah. Uh, her brother's all American basketball player. Um, and she reminds me a lot of him. He plays long like he did. Preston was a shot blocker, like block shots. And, um, so she really reminds me of him a lot. Um, she's been around the game since she was a Tell me about Preston Broughton a little bit. I, I'm unfamiliar with that particular name in history of what, what is his playing the theme in South Dakota. Let's out there on Avery Broughton, the eighth grader from oh, Corsica yeah. Stickney. Check it out. Wow. Block shot. Good shot. Defense. Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. Good defense. Turnover. Boy, it kind of turned into a pretty competitive B game tonight. Corsica wow. Stickney is hosting Sanborn Central Woonsocket, a uh, pretty good ball club that is 9 and 5 right now. And, uh, boy, it takes just a few minutes to realize that Corsica Stickney is very, very long. Pretty disciplined, too. He was five seven there in Broughton. She's going to score inside in a minute. She's an eighth grader and one. Corsica Stickney leading early in that ball game. How, how, how did those Corsica Stickney teams do uh, back in his tenure there? How did those Corsica Stickney teams do during his tenure there? Did you guys win the state titles, get to stay in a bunch? Yeah, no, we had a bad first game. I don't even remember. That's how many games I've been to. They all kind of learned to cover a time. 
<coughs> Coach, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your read. And you guys are sitting up on top there with that 14-1 record. Uh, but, man, I'm looking down the list here. Trip Delmont Armour, they're always tough. And he said, with Coach Christian having a good year. And I noticed that uh, the Nagel and Seeds girl from Avon are starting to play pretty good ball right now. down towards the end of your schedule, and you're, you know, you're talking about your region games, and boy, you guys close out with Hampson, Ethan, and then Trip Delmont Armour, right? Do you, do you feel like you're going to be battle-tested heading into the postseason? Uh, I would think so. I'm hoping, you know, the health foods that are, are mindset, you know, just like some big seem to be a lot of pressure on the ball the other night. Um, what part of your game has improved as a team this, this year? question, but do you guys have any outstanding students on your girls' roster? Any academic achievements or anything stand out amongst your squad? Even music or something? Um, we have a lot of um, really good students. Um, sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.